In this lesson, we learn how to form sine diagrams from an equation. Draw a sine diagram for f of x equals x minus 3. We start our diagram with a line. We mark all points on the sine diagram where the function equals 0. We set x minus 3 equals 0 and solve to get x equals 3. We mark x equals 3 on our sine diagram. We now look at values of x less than 3 and see whether they give us a positive or negative result when input into the function. We take the function of x minus 3 and substitute any value of x less than 3. We can take 2, 1, minus 10 or any number less than 3. We will choose 0 because it is easy to substitute in. 0 take away 3 equals minus 3, which is negative. We mark a negative sign on our sign diagram. This means any value less than 3 substituted into the function will give us a negative answer. Now we look at what values we get for x inputs larger than 3. We substitute any value greater than 3 into x minus 3. Here we choose x equals 5. 5 take away 3 equals 2, which is positive. We mark a positive sign on our sign diagram. This means any x value greater than 3 gives us a positive answer when substituted into the function. Here is a similar function of x brackets x minus 3. We first mark the points where the function equals 0. Either x equals 0 or x minus 3 equals 0. If x minus 3 equals 0, x equals 3. Now we label the signs in each region. For values of x less than 0, we substitute a value less than 0 into x brackets x minus 3. We will substitute x equals minus 1. x brackets x minus 3 becomes minus 1 brackets minus 1 minus 3, which is minus 1 minus 4, which equals 4. This is a positive result. Now we look at this region. We select a value of x between 0 and 3. We choose 1. x brackets x minus 3 becomes 1 brackets 1 minus 3 which is 1 minus 2, which equals minus 2. This is a negative result. Finally, we look at values of x greater than 3. We choose x equals 4. This simplifies to 4 brackets 4 minus 3, which is 4, 1, which equals 4. This is positive and our sign diagram is complete. Here we have f of x equals x squared plus 5x minus 6. We can factorise this as brackets x plus 6 brackets x minus 1. And we set the function equal to 0. When x plus 6 equals 0, we get x equals minus 6. When x minus 1 equals 0, x equals 1. For values of x less than minus 6, we can substitute in x equals minus 7. This becomes minus 1 minus 8. This equals 8, which is positive. Between minus 6 and 1, we can substitute in x equals 0 to get 6 minus 1, 
this equals minus 6, which is negative. For this region, we substitute x values larger than 1, such as x equals 2. This becomes 8, 1, which equals 8. This region is positive. The sign diagram is complete. Visit mathsathome.com for further videos and practice.